And it's the deadly. How's the deadly today? Uh, I'm good. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. You ready for a test? Yes. You have <laughs> a new place. I have my new, I don't know what you call Hacienda. I don't know, a little house in uh, South America. Ugo brick. It's a brick wall. I have a few brick walls here. See, I got brick wall, then I got wood wall there. I got a wooden ceiling. Really, really cool. Yeah. I got a nice brick wall and it goes all the way around. I got the window. I got a nice big wooden door. Ah. Whoops. My camera does that sometimes. Oops. Uh oh. And I got another sliding glass door over there. Nice hardwood floor. Another brick wall over there. It's cool. It's like a hotel? No, this is my little house. It's like a little villa. It's in the countryside okay. in southern in southern Chile. It's uh I'm in the country. There's horses around here everywhere. There's uh there's a lake. Um lots of lime trees and all kinds of really cool things. I'm going to do a little video of the house when I get more furniture. I'm still fixing everything. But this is my new house for one year in Chile. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, and I got some videos too of the horses walking by and everything. No, it's really cool. It's a nice little house. Just a little one bedroom bungalow villa style. But um it's it's really cool. It's really really cool. So um, and I like the brick wall. It's gonna make a nice background. I'll put a nice picture up here, and I'll put a shelf with some stuff here, and I'll make it look nice. And yeah, so I'm gonna spend one year in South America, and then next year I don't know where I'll go, <laughs> but for this year we'll be here. So it's cool. <laughs> How was your day? You had a day at school today? Yes. Yes, I have. You had. That's right. That's right. So we're gonna do our, we're gonna do our interest eighteen test tonight, Dudley. I just did Milo. I've already done Jason and Benicia, and then tomorrow I'll do Lily right before our interest nineteen class. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll be all set. Oh, I got a crazy hair. I think it's time for a haircut. I'm starting to get my wings again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's good. All right, so our interest 18, we're going to, we, well, of course, we're going to talk about some of the topics we had. We had uh, me social media addiction, so we'll talk a bit about that. And we talked about some inventions. We'll talk about some of those and what you think are good inventions and not so good inventions. And then the reading comprehension, we'll talk about that online auction, eBay and stuff, where the, some people were selling things and some guy so tried to sell his life in a town and all kinds of different stuff. Those interesting stories for your comprehension and pronunciation. Yes. So, yeah, so we got everything going. So you ready to start? Yes. 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 <laughs> all right, here we are. We are on our first topic, and that's going to be about social media addiction. So, Mr. Yeah. Dudley, do you spend too much time on social media? Mm. My thing is, no, I don't. No, you don't think so? How many hours? Yeah. How much time do you spend on social media? All of them. I YouTube, just, everything, YouTube. I, uh, all, all of YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, everything. Everything. I think it's two or three hours. Two, a <laughs> two or three, three hours yes. a day? Yes. Oh, I see. So you don't think you have a problem? You don't think it's too much? No, I don't. <laughs> of course, no, I don't. That's anybody who's addicted to something to say, no, I'm not addicted. I, I, I got it all under control. <laughs> yes so two or three hours a day so that's like 20 hours a week it's like a part time job maybe <laughs> that's a lot that's a lot my friend so what 
activities do you do on social media? Like, what do you do? You watch video games, you watch cat videos, I amongst watch, us videos. Watch uh, something cool in YouTube or Facebook and videos. Surf, surf, um, surf to cool thing like uh, how to make something like to do yourself do yourself do it yourself okay so tell me one thing uh, you searched on something to do to do do it yourself you, pick one uh example how to make us uh, games how to make uh, games huh yes i um something like that thing music in L listening to music or how to play music listen to music okay so you like to listen to music too yes <laughs> and watch some players play games uh-huh uh-huh watching other gamers you're a big gamer too, but you want to learn how to make video games, don't you? You want to do programming? Yes. That's a good thing. Learning programming and coding is definitely good. Building games is good. Playing games is fun and, and you can learn things from it. You got to level up and it's kind of like life in some ways. Life is a game, but, um, but you got to watch how often you play for sure, which leads me to the next question. How do you think social media or how can social media be addictive? Like when 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 is it too much when you're watching? The social media is have a lot of thing. Not a thing you want. Social like, media is what? Have a lot of thing you want. A cool thing. Uh they have um like if you want something and they will post it for you right but in what ways do you think it can be addictive that you do too much of it like you can watch videos and, and you can always get what you want because the algorithms will always show what you want to show. But what what would be the point where you would say to yourself, I think I'm addicted to social media. I have to slow down. I do too much. Uh, yes. You, you, in your Facebook, you like a self, like self more thing it, in the be under you. You you don't know what interesting in a on a surf if you surf. So you're just watching things, but you don't really know what you're watching. You're just surfing around. Yes. Yeah. Mindless scrolling. Yeah, I don't know what the proper word for that would be. I've seen myself do that a couple of times. You or you check your Facebook and check some of the messages and then next thing you know you're watching videos and watching videos of all these crazy things and some guy with a machine trying to get a rock out of the out of the wall and it's like and then you look at the clock and it's like oh my god i've been watching this stuff for an hour <laughs> and it's like stop <laughs> yeah that's one way of knowing that it could be addictive mm -hmm. if you use it for educational purposes and research and things like that, then sure, it can be a valuable tool. But if you're just watching endless amounts of videos with no meaning or nothing that's going to help you, then, then it's a problem. Yeah, big time problem. Okay, there's a little warm-up. Let's go to the next little warm-up. Topic two inventions. <laughs>